Hey, how are you doing? First wild camp of the year uh, in uh, the end of June. Oh no, it's July, isn't it? July? Yeah. <laughs> so we're in July, uh, first wild camp of the year, first like proper hike of the year as well. Lockdown and ankle ligament injury scuppered me. Uh, we are heading to Ackles Secret Beach. Woo! I've got uh, Aoife and Luna. Luna. Hello. So we've got the whole pack today. Looking forward to this. Ah, let's go. All gone? Yeah. Lovely. <laughs> So that turned quickly, didn't it loons? Started raining, we were attacked by midges. Eva lost her phone, refound her phone. It's in the bag. So, good morning to you. Um, last night turned into, uh, well, it turned into a proper wild camp. <laughs> um, the rain started to pick up uh, just as I was setting up the tent. We were attacked by midges and we just kind of wanted to get in and I didn't want to get the camera gear wet. So, me and the pup decided to go and a little, uh, give Vif a little, little bit of a lie in. It's about, well, about six o'clock in the morning. Um, we went to patrol the area. Not right, Luna. Yeah, we decided we were going to patrol the area and have a bit of a look around. And I must say, this place is absolutely gorgeous. Obviously, didn't bother getting up for the sunrise because it wouldn't have been seen anyway. 
but uh, yeah, this place is absolutely stunning. The beach is lovely. The just the sound of the waves crashing against the rocks. Um, lovely. There's a lovely mist as we're speaking right now, just over the mountains. Um, and it's a really, really gorgeous spot. So secluded, you just wouldn't know it was here. And uh, it's just, it's something special. So we came down that way last night. And we came around the lake. And then we made our way to the camp there. Um, I wasn't sure, we were up there yesterday. And I wasn't sure whether it was that safe to come down there. But it doesn't look too bad. Steep in parts. But I reckon with a bit of careful footwork you could get that down that way. Uh, it'd save a good chunk off your journey. But uh, I think we're going to uh, head up that way uh, this morning. And uh, get home. So I've set foot back on the trail again, nearly at the car. That was Anna Strand. Yeah, really special place. Really calm, really special place. Nice, sheltered. Um, we're just a bit unfortunate with the weather. Not too bad to get to. Um, although I will say, if you're if you're if you're thinking about coming here, I highly recommend you have some form of steep ascent experience. Uh, there's a couple of dodgy spots, and especially if you're have a, like a 10 kg backpack on your back. Um, or even heavier. Yeah, I'd highly recommend uh, having some sort of experience. Don't head up there all willy-nilly thinking that you'll be able to head up there. What a wonderful wild camp that was and in a truly incredible place. Let's break the hike down for you good people. So we began our trek on Echo Island's deserted village, a really lovely spot if it's just to visit. The village was part of a buoy system being used during the summer, and it was inhabited all the way up to the early part of the last century. From here we followed the Duna Loop Trail for about 1.5k until there was a little turn off on the right. Our next waypoint was the short climb up to the Napoleonic Signal Tower. This is my proper first outing since the injury and uh, my lack of activity really showed as I was very unfit getting up to the next high point of 2.7 meters. But from here we got a first look at Anna Strand. Now getting down can be a bit tricky as there's some steep descent and you'll need to watch your feet, particularly with a heavy pack. There are three ways down that I saw. The steep difficult part in the blue, the spur that leads you behind the lake which we took, or you can also go the long way around in orange. Loch Nakeog is actually the lowest quarry lake in Ireland, and maybe even Europe, but don't quote me on that because I'm not too sure. And it is a truly remarkable place, so magical. It's just, it's, just, it's just a wonder to stay there, so calm, so still. We had a great camp, but here's a top tip for you. Don't be a silly ass like me, and remember to take down your tent before pulling at the pegs. The next morning we decided to head up the steep side and it cut a good chunk off the journey. And then we just followed the route we came and got back to the car. The terrain you're going to come up against is rocky trails, hills, some marsh, there's a steep descent to get down to the strand. Distance is about 13k, 8 to the strand and 5 back. Highest point was 269 metres and at the lowest it was 16. We started and finished in the deserted village in Ackle. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe also. If you liked what you saw and think to yourself, this guy deserves a pint or a beer, then you can support me on my Ko-fi page. Just check the links in the description below. Don't forget about my socials. Have a wonderful day. Happy hiking and take care.